Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So today I'm going to be showing you some ambient lighting via a USB LED strip uh, in my Range Rover Velar. So let's take a look at how we can set that up. Right, so I've got this thing called an atmosphere lamp. It allows you to change the LED strips to any color you want via a remote control. So I'm gonna go ahead, see the best positions to put it inside the car, and I'm just gonna give you a quick review on what I think compared to the ambient lighting that I already have. But essentially this will be a replacement. If you don't have ambient lighting in your Range Rover, this would be a really good option. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. Right, just to quickly show you what's in the box. We've got a leaflet showing you how to set these up. Four LED strips. They're pretty solid. They bend a little bit, but not too much. They've got the, the 3M stickers at the back, so they're self-adhesive, kind of easy to install pretty much anywhere, but then you'd have to get things sticky. And then you've got the actual device, which is powered through this battery pack into the USB port. It comes with a remote control. These are the different colors you can change to. So I think there's about eight there. And you can change the brightness and the fading so you can make the colors change alongside the music. I'm gonna try and see how that looks. So let me go ahead and see where the best place is to position them. Most likely I want them to be positioned at the bottom of the seats at the front and then possibly under the dashboards. Right, let me show you guys how I've set this up. So I've put the, the battery pack inside the compartment here. I know it's a little bit messy, just shoved all the wires in there. There's the battery pack. Now, this is the receiver that is uh, linked to the remote via infrared. So that needs to still be popping out um, at the same time. So I've uh, put the cable tie just for the three cables because there's a lot of cables that are coming out of this now. Same with the other side, I've tied them up. There's about four cables coming out of that side because one of them is for my dash cam. So just lean it up against that little base there so the wires don't get trapped when you close it. Then you can push it down. and then it clips into place. So there you have the little thing sticking out. Now I've got it coming down the side here. Now what I've done is I've tucked it underneath the plastic side pass partition here. So I've moved it all across in there and you can't see, but I'll move my phone down. This is the LED strip. Now I'm gonna show you what I've done on the back seat as well. So there's two wires coming here. This is one I've just shown you now, and this one is going to the back, so let's take a look. Right, so for the back seat, it's coming down the side bit here. You can just about see the wire down there. There you can see the wire coming out from the side under there, and coming straight in. I've uh, put the colored LED strip just at the bottom on the fabric of the back seat. Now this is the same on both sides, and I'm gonna turn it on and see how it looks. Okay guys, so just to give you a bit of context, this is my ambient lighting that comes in the Range Rover Velar. So it comes inside the door panels and just on the insides of the front seats here, along the main dashboard, you can see along the doors here, on the back seat, in the door panels there. Now this is dark because I'm showing you underneath the seats, there's no lighting, it's complete darkness. The ones in front, you can see that they've got white lights. Now what I've done is I've placed, as I've just shown you, all of the LED strips underneath the seats and the front dashboards. So now I'm going to be showing you what it looks like with the atmosphere lighting on. Right, so I know you can't see in the video, but this is the remote control. I'm going to turn it on. And I've set it to blue. Now you can see it looks pretty awesome. It mixes with the red a little bit from the front to make that little purple color. Now, if you look at the back, you can see the lighting is underneath the two front seats. It looks pretty awesome. For people in the back, it's a complete difference to the ambient lighting. I think the ambient lighting is pretty cool on its own, except it's not that bright. This one is a lot brighter. Now I'm gonna show you by changing, using the remote control to the various different colors and see how that looks. You have the green, you have white if you wanted to orange, yellow, sort of a lighter blue. You have purple, 
And then you have some buttons that are called jumping lights. It's a little bit too much. You're not gonna be usually having a disco in your car or anything like that. You can slow it down different colors. This one is called fade. So it just fades and transitions into the various different colors. That's fade one. This is fade two. It chooses a different set of colors to fade into. And then you have one called music. So I'm pressing music one. It sort of changes slightly, transitions, and then bounces into various different colors. As you see, number three, music four. I'm not really sure who would actually use that, but for me, most of the time, I'm gonna be using probably a green or a blue color. I think the blue goes really good with the red. But just to quickly show you what it looks like if you don't have ambient lighting in your car, how this actually looks. So I'm going to turn my ambient lighting off. And there you go. That's how it looks. I think it's a pretty cool replacement, even though the door panels here are dark. It still stands out. It does change the, the atmosphere inside the Range Rover. It's a, a good replacement if you didn't get the ambient lighting, for example. I would recommend it. Now, I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can buy these LED light strips for a very good price. They do worldwide shipping. Check them out. Let me know what you guys think. Do give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and please make sure to subscribe. I've got some more videos coming out on my Range Rover. I think you'll like them and I will see you guys next time.